Hi, this is Peter for The Movable Chef. I was in the kitchen doing something else today and thought I'd do a real quick review on some uh, miniature small pepper grinders I was trying out to see if they'd be appropriate for travel. And I've got a couple to compare from here. This is actually my, my standby production grinder. Uh, these are what I'm talking about. I've got these little mini mills was the, the brand name. And, uh, and then these push button stainless steel, they also come in plastic colors, uh, but these push button grinders. Um, I've seen a lot of different uh, brands of these push button spring loaded grinders. I, I suspect they're all made by the same company um, and sold under different brands. Um, they, they all seem to be about the same construction details. Um, and then these, uh, which um, I've, I've just run across so the, the one brand of these. Um, in terms of, of, of notes, these little mini mills actually have a ceramic burr grinder in them. Um, and, and they're much more effective than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were really going to be uh, uh, probably a toy and end up getting thrown away pretty fast. And, and they work pretty well. Um, the only thing that's a little disturbing is to fill them, the, the top just snaps off and you, you always feel like you're going to break something. It just has these two little plastic ears and, and they probably will break eventually. Um, but relatively easy to load and, uh, and, and they do a pretty good job. They do a very fine grind. I'm not sure if you can see it on the white plate. But it's a very, very powdery, fine pepper grind, uh, which, is, which is nice. Um, having said that, this thing holds about two teaspoons of pepper uh, within it. So and this, it's meal sized, really. Uh, it's not something that you're going to crank out a quarter cup of pepper to, to make a, a barbecue rub with or anything. Um, the push button, um, it's heavy. It seems well made. It's solid stainless steel. Holds more pepper than it looks like it does because it, it goes up this tube somewhat. Uh, you load it by unscrewing this base. Uh, the, the, the threads seem uh, pretty well made. Um, downsides. This little knurled steel knob, if you can see it, uh, there's, there's a, probably a better picture of it on the website. I thought that was the adjustment for the grind. Uh, actually, that is the grinder. Um, it, it's not an adjustable grind, as far as I can tell. And, uh, and it's just that little knurled steel rod is, is what's grinding the pepper, which means that you get very sort of inconsistent grind levels, big pieces and smaller pieces, which is a little suboptimal. Um, the other thing is that I'm using telecherry peppercorns, which is the largest, or, or certainly, uh, I think it's the largest uh, peppercorn uh, available. And this has a little bit of a problem feeding it. Um, it's, you gotta shake it around sometimes a little bit. Uh, strangely, these tiny little mills, no problems at all. They, they take the telecherry peppercorns and reduce them to powder very easily. So the reason why I have my standard grinder out here is I figured the best test of these is um, see how much pepper I can grind out of each one in 15 seconds and then, uh, and then show you what that looks like so you can, you can see what the output is. So as a control, we'll start off with my 20 year old much abused uh, kitchen grinder. I use this one in the kitchen because it's got the offset crank. I can surely put out a, a bit more pepper in a given length of time. And we'll check out 15 seconds here. Set to a medium grind and we'll use this as the control. So that's five seconds, 10 seconds, and 15 seconds. And we've got about a teaspoon and a half of ground pepper, uh, very coarse. I mean, this is something that you'd use for uh, you know, uh, grilling a steak or something. It's, it's definitely uh, pretty coarse. Now we'll try out the push button grinder. And I'll push this button as fast as I can for 15 seconds. It's a little more awkward than it would seem because the uh, peppercorns get bound in there and you have to give it a shake to help them feed through a little bit. That's actually a little bit over 15 seconds. And uh, if you can even see it on film, that little pile of pepper there, it's about a quarter teaspoon. Um, and now for the uh, little hand mill, this is going to be awkward because they're so small, I think it'll be uh, difficult for me to actually crank it and even see it. But trust me, there is a pepper mill inside my hands here somewhere. So 15 seconds. That's 10 seconds. And 15 seconds. 
So what do we have? Uh, about a quarter teaspoon again. Um, having said that, if you look at the actual pepper as it's ground, this is a really fine flour-like grind and it's very, very consistent. Uh, this is some of a medium, medium coarseness and, and somewhat inconsistent. And then this is uh, the largest amount, but it's, uh, it's very coarse and um, yeah, a little bit inconsistent as well. In terms of the, the best result, I'd say this one does re remarkably well. Having said that, it's never really gonna have a place in my kitchen for food pre preparation because it just it's too small, it takes too long, doesn't hold enough pepper. But you could throw these in your glove box or throw them in your picnic basket and have uh, fresh salt and pepper uh, on the road. So. Um, these get a, a passing score. Not thrilled about this, even though it produced about the same amount of pepper. Um, and I should probably buy a new kitchen pepper grinder because this thing's not doing so well. I've got uh, the links to these products uh, and uh, the written comments available on themoveablechef.com. Thanks so much.